Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech. This is going to be a quick video. I'm going to be switching over the oil that I use in the car. I'm doing an oil change right now. And 20W50, I've been using Castrol GTX since I bought the car. I've done a few oil changes. I researched the maintenance records on the car. It looks like they were using Castrol 20W50 for the most part. I decided to switch over to a new oil Valvoline VR1 racing oil. And the reason why I'm switching over to this is because of the high zinc and phosphorus content. So I've done a lot of research on high mileage engines and I've come to the conclusion that a higher zinc and phosphorus level for the DeLorean PRV once it approaches or surpasses 100,000 miles is really the way to go. So I'm going to be adding this oil in there. My car right now has about 96,500 miles on it. So. It's a little bit more expensive than uh, your traditional, the Castrol 20W50 oil. Um, you can get this stuff on Amazon actually for pretty cheap. I think maybe five bucks a quart. Uh, if you, you go to O'Reilly's or some of the other auto parts, I've seen them as high as eight bucks a quart. So if you're paying more than six, I'm, I would say that you're overpaying for it. There's nothing special, it just has a, a zinc phosphorus additive to it, and that is for protection of the flat tappet type engines. Um, which, in my research, what I found is that it's better for uh, higher mileage engines. If you're DeLorean, you know, these cars are pushing 40 years, and there's a lot of low mileage, quote unquote, low mileage cars out there. Um, I really have no opinion on that. Uh, I know that uh, for cars that have high miles, as in closer to 100,000 miles, this is really the way to go. So I am going to turn the valve on my easy oil change valve that I got from Doran Parts Northwest. And this is probably the, one of the best things ever made for the DeLorean. It makes oil changes so much easier. So there it is right there in the closed position. This little handle right here that operates the valve itself. You just, really all you do is just push up and then over to open it up and close it. Push it up again and over to close it. There you go. I use the Bosch oil filters that are available on Rock Auto. So there's the model number. These cars take somewhere between six and seven quarts. This particular one seems to want to take closer to seven. So I'll buy seven quarts of oil at a time. Like I said, Amazon is really the best buy for the DeLorean as far as uh, the VR1. And make sure it's the conventional, not the synthetic. I don't rec recommend using the synthetic on the DeLorean engine. Unless you've done some extension, extensive engine um, restoration on it, it really just, and you're just gonna invite more leaking at the seals. So the theory 
is that the zinc and phosphorus additive in this VR1 and another high zinc oils adds a protective film to prevent metal to metal contact on some of these older engines. Nowadays, modern oils use lower zinc and phosphorus levels than they did in the past. And that may not be optimal for 40 year old PRV engines, which at the time, based on my research, the oil had higher zinc levels. So if you're looking at below 800 parts per million of the zinc phosphorus additive, that might be too low for an engine like this. So this is my sixth quart. So once you get down to six quarts, you're gonna to wanna to start checking the level. I've been told that different cars take different volumes of oil. So So looking at where I'm at right now, I am right at about maximum, and that's with just six quarts. Another thing too, I actually have the car propped up on ramps right now, so they may not be getting an accurate reading as far as the oil level. So what I'll do is I'll get the car down level and then check the oil at that point and see what we have. So. And I'll probably run it a little bit too before I start topping it off. Just want to make sure that I don't overfill. So here's the box that the oil filter came in. It has a different model number on it, but right here, if you look at this one down here, the 0451, that's the same number that's on the oil filter, but I didn't see this number here, this P3033. So anyway, these are available on Rock Auto. Here's another number, 72150. So I brought the car back down to level, and it did make a difference. There you go, now you can see it. So I'll probably add a little bit more. So do I recommend this oil? I would say if your DeLorean has, or is getting pretty close to 100,000 miles, it might not be a bad idea to switch over to this. Um, I'll probably do some follow-up videos just to track the progress on this. I do drive the car a lot, so if there is any sort of not noticeable difference, um, I will report back on that in a future video. So, thanks for watching.